Scientists hoping to shed more light on long COVID have recruited hundreds of people to take part in the first study of its kind. The Children of the 90s Project has been tracking thousands of people in Bristol over the last 30 years, as you know. And now those recruits are having their organs scanned to see what effect the virus has had on their health. Our health correspondent, Matthew Hill, explains. Michael Bradford has been struggling to breathe since he was infected with COVID 18 months ago. I feel like I've been a lot more sensitive to light um, since then. Uh, my eyesight's slightly deteriorated, not significantly, but a little bit. Um, and just, I don't feel like I'm living my life as full as I was. Michael is one of thousands from Bristol whose health has been monitored from cradle to adulthood through the Children of the Nightest study. He's now volunteered to take part in a long COVID follow-up clinic in London. I went there to see another volunteer, Joe, also from Bristol, being tested for lung and cardiac function, the same tests he's had throughout his life for children of the 90s. Scientists want to know why some people are more susceptible. Over the next two years, 800 volunteers like Joe will take part in this study. Now, it's split into four groups, those with long COVID, those who've had the virus but have not developed long COVID, those who don't have any signs of antibodies in their blood to the virus, and the last group, also those without signs of having had the virus but who've developed a similar condition to long COVID, such as ME. Some studies of people who've been hospitalised with COVID suggest their brain can age by 10 years. These scans could shed light on the virus's effect on people with milder symptoms. So we think there are likely to be signals that are linked to long COVID in all of these organs. And we wonder whether they are linked to the symptoms people experience. So for instance, if you have fatigue, is that something to do with having more severe effects on muscle or the heart? If you have brain fog, is that because you have more damage in the brain? The health burden of long COVID is immense. The Office for National Statistics says it has affected almost 3% of the population. That's 1.7 million people. So that's why the children of the 90s is so crucial, because so little is known about how people in their 30s, like Michael, are affected by long COVID. How are you feeling? Fine. <laughs> the results will be fed in real time to NICE, so that the experts from there who set the medical guidelines on long COVID can respond quickly to any new findings about this elusive disease. Matthew Hill, BBC Points West.